Hey, Tony, guys, here at Car Chronicles. Can't look at you because I'm driving. But what you gotta understand, you know, when I'm uh, driving, it's no different than me talking to somebody sitting in the back seat or sitting in the car with me. So I know sometimes people who don't know how to drive and talk get a little scared when they see you driving because they think you're not paying attention. But I'm paying full attention to the road and the phone just sitting here, okay? So y'all understand that first and foremost. And, and so if y'all have been in a wreck, don't try to do what I do, all right? This for people who cover by the blood of Jesus and call anointed and appointed for a time such as this, all right? If, if, if you ain't stepped into that yet, then don't, don't be trying to drive with your camera on, all right? Understand that right now. First and foremost, this, that, and the third. Hey, I just want to say this, that, and the third. I be hearing uh, hood people say this, that, and the third, and it just so funny to me. But you know I will call it because, you know, this year, year coming almost to an end. And uh, next year, I'm starting off next year, the first seven days, with some motivational calls. Inspirational, motivational, educational. For the first seven days of the year. It'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern. And it's by phone, tele teleconference. So you'll be on the phone. I'll be teaching a lesson, talking. And then I'll open up for Q&A for a little while. Everybody won't get to ask a question depending on how many people on the line. And But the line has a limit of people. So, so if you want to be a part of that to sign up, go to TonyGaskinsAcademy.com and you'll see it. It said 2021. Uh, it said 2021 is my year. That's the name of the, the course. It's not a course. It's, it's phone calls. So understand that. I hope you can hear me because, see, I got my windows down. I'm in my old school. And uh, I've had this put up in the store, so I ain't been getting to drive it much. But um, I, I just want to start the year off strong. And I just, I know for certain people, that mean a lot to them. So it's, it's a sacrifice for me to get on the phone because I don't like doing routine stuff seven days in a row so I'm also sacrificing the start of my year to help other people who may not have a life coach you know life coaching might not be affordable uh, for everybody so that's why this is only $25 and because paying $25 an hour might not be affordable and so this will be seven hours and um one on one with me that would be over two thousand dollars so this only twenty five dollars and i'm doing this and i try to do something like this every year if you don't have my affirmations book called this is my year if you don't have that then that's a download in the course as well you could download it and um and it's just a affirmation for each day so you could download it save it on your phone or print it out and you just read the affirmation every day. Excuse the type, I think it's a typo in there, a human edited. She a really good editor, top professional editor, but just go to show you, people make mistakes. That's another lesson too, is um, my last two books, A Woman's Influence and Make It Work. If you read those books, you see a couple mistakes in there and a um, couple typos. What I want you to understand about that is the publisher is Simon & Schuster. Simon & Schuster publishes the top celebrities in the world, like the, like presidents, uh, all the A-list celebrities. On that editing, them books editing probably had eight different editors eight different editors who got college degrees and they work for a top five publisher in the world now you got to realize there's thousands of publishers simon and schuster top five publisher in the world meaning out of the thousands they in the top five and guess what still mistakes in the book i'm at a red light so that touch your nose i'm at a red light oh you looking at the phone bye. why you looking at the phone you say you gotta say i'm at a red light now listen now Simon & Schuster top five publishers still mistakes in the book these people make six figures my editor probably made six figures still mistakes the lesson is 
is that perfection is not attainable but the pursuit of perfection is possible so what that means is you're never gonna be perfect if you waiting on all green lights before you leave the house you'll never leave home you got to leave the house i'm sitting at a red light if i sat at my house and say i'm waiting i'm making a trip i'm waiting till every light green before i leave when would i get to leave what you got to understand is you got to launch that brand. You're going to have to launch that business. You're going to have to write that book. You're waiting for everything to be perfect. It'll never be perfect. My books had mistakes in it when I was an independent author. When I go to a top five publisher in the world, I'm thinking it ain't going to be a single mistake. Still mistakes. That go to show you nobody is perfect. It go to show you that no matter how much money is spent, it's still going to be mistakes made. It also go to show you that ain't nobody gonna care about your stuff more than you. A lot of people depend on, you depend on a, you waiting on an assistant, you waiting on a business partner, you want an intern, and you think you need all of that to have a business, to have a successful brand. Guess what? I built my brand to the point to where, to earning seven figures a year in a year with no staff with no assistant with no intern and what I learned is that if God called you to it he gonna give you the tools you need to do it and what you got to realize is that it, it ain't ever gonna be perfect but you got to be willing to put your hand to the plow so as this year coming out and we going into the next, you got to get ready. You got to shift your mindset. And see, the thing about it is everything mindset because it's about goals too. And when I say goals, meaning you first got to have faith to believe something. I say, okay, Lord, I want to do this. And in my heart, I'm like, man, that's kind of crazy. Well, that's crazy. Now, that's a crazy goal. So I say, if I come right in between where I was and where I'm trying to go, I'll be good. So I say, Lord, at least that. Do at least that. Let's do at least that. The Lord, what I said, Lord, let's do at least this goal. Lord took him more than double. It. More than double. And it was... It wasn't effortless. It wasn't tireless. You know, I was tired now. Um, it wasn't easy in a sense. It, it, you know, it was work. You got to work because remember, I had the faith, but you also got to have the works. The faith ain't enough. The Bible say faith without works is dead. You got to have. I got my car here. But see the area on me, I leave my old school running. Leave my old school running because I get tired of it. Now it'll crank back up now, but since I don't get to drive it much, I'll leave it running. Let y'all look at them. This is 72 Chevelle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Had a guy find them for me. Had a guy find them for me. In Tennessee, out of Tennessee. 74 year old man. Was selling his uh sell, selling some of his car. So listen to me. You don't believe that's your problem right there. If you don't believe that you could work for yourself, you don't believe you could keep your job that you're happy with, but that you could get fired from, you could get laid off. You don't believe you could have side income. And because you don't believe that. That's why it ain't happening. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a... How you doing today? Awesome. Can I have a 20-ounce Island Impact? Um, No, sir. That'll be all. Uh, no, thank you. All right. Now, see, you don't believe you can have extra income. So, therefore, that's why you ain't got extra income. Now, what you got to realize... Is uh, Gail, 
B Designs, Gail P Designs or Gail B Designs. She took and she made the she made the um she made the t-shirts and she made the hats for me. Now it's people that's supporting her. The embroidery, it's levels to the embroidery. So it, it she ain't at the top top right now. She ain't at the world's greatest embroidery, but she got started. She probably will tell you, oh, I done seen embroidery better than this. It ain't, you know, Christian Dior embroidery, but it look good. It look good. And it's a start. And, and people spending with them, even if it's $30, that's side income. You got to first believe it, and then you got to get started. And so when I when I said, Lord, this is what I want to do. This is what my goal is. Lord said, okay, keep that on your mind. Keep the faith. Keep your life living right. Be living right. Doing the right thing. And I can move on your behalf. I said, okay, Lord, I got you. I'm going to do that. Thank you very much. So I said, I'm going to do that. And then it happened. And, and see, the thing about it is, according to according to your faith be it un, be it unto you but see what you got to realize is that god will take and do above and beyond what you expected what you wanted see god ain't gonna meet you right at your level god say i just need you to have a faith that i can move and if you have a faith that i can move then then watch what i do and I'm here, and I'm and I'm a living witness. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause listen to me, I ain't gonna lie to you because I don't believe in fairy tales. I don't believe in no fairy tales. Now see, I can show y'all my old school, cause you know that's old school. That's collectors. I can't show everybody everything, cause lady Tama, can you do a house tour? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, because you got spirits out there. That don't be and my house ain't nothing special but just still people just absolutely not me and my wife we don't put everybody in all in our business but let me tell you i don't believe in fairy tales that's how i can tell you god is real because i don't believe in fairy tales i don't like the idea of santa claus i like the idea of jesus christ and celebrating the birth of jesus i don't like, I don't like the idea of santa claus i don't like easter bunny i like the idea of jesus christ being resurrected conquering the grave you see what i'm saying so understand when i tell you god real i'm telling you i lived it because i done seen real in different ways real in the streets where you at clear and present danger real danger and your life on the line i done seen real in different ways so when i tell you god real uh -uh. see a lot of atheists ain't never did nothing that they could lose their life they ain't never did nothing that could cost them their life. That's why they could say God ain't real. But when you done did something that could cost you your life, when you done live reality in more than one way, that's when you know God real. That's when you know God grace and mercy and favor is real. Hey, slow down now. Come on now. I'm gonna hear old school now. Get, get, get beside yourself. Yo, my eyes on the road. So understand this right here. When you hear me, to a lot of people, I'm poor, dumb, and country. To a lot of people, I'm poor, dumb, and country. But look at God. Look at God. Some women try to say, oh, Tony, uh, you, your, a lot of your success come from your looks. 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 Child, don't nobody look good. It's just y'all got bad taste. Y'all got bad taste. I remember we had I remember we had a running back in college. He was a running back on my team. That boy looked like a ninja turtle. The girl was talking about, oh, he's so hot. I, me and the other running back were like, hot? We were like, if he look good, what the world we look like then? If he's if he's sexy and fine, what in the world is we? 
because we know he ugly. So it's like women, y'all just be a man don't even look good, but it's just because y'all heart. I see a lot of women talk about other women. Oh, she beautiful. And men, we be like, beautiful well. Where she beautiful at? Because it's just women. Y'all don't even see straight. Y'all see what y'all, you see more with your heart and you don't even realize it. So with y'all, because your heart is different, a person might look better to you than they actually look. So don't try to, don't, so for all y'all Jezebel spirits, don't try to say, my success come from looks because it's a lot of men that y'all think look good that's broke busted and disgusted there's a lot of men that y'all think look good that is broke busted and disgusted my success come from god my success come from god i'm 510 i know men that's six four six six and broke i i have a two pack i used to have a 10 pack 14 pack now I have a two pack. I know men with an eight pack and they broke. You hear me? Success, real success that come with peace, that come from God. You hear me? So let me help you. So this is the thing. The reason why I'm doing this little group, now it's people that do the same thing that I'm gonna do for these seven days and they charge hundreds of dollars. There's people that charge thousands of dollars. This is not for the faint at heart. I'm gonna be talking to you real. You are not gonna agree with everything. But one thing you cannot disagree with is peace and prosperity. Cause people talk to you from where they at. I'm talking to you from a place of peace and prosperity. You might have peace. You might have some prosperity. You might wanna, you want, you might want a happy marriage. You might not have that. You might want a closer walk with God. You might not have that. You might want prosperity, you might not have that. You might want peace, you might not have that. If it's anything that God has given me in my season that he has not given you in your season, then join me on this here call. And join me on this here call. Well, honey, why you ain't make the call free? Because you need to get beyond free. Me and my wife were talking. Me and my wife were talking. Cause we just, cause we did something that we didn't put on social media. It's not on social media. And, but it was a seed, it was a gift that we did for Christmas. And it's not on social media, don't nobody know about it. And I ain't gonna go into all details, but me and my wife were talking, we was like, it's a shame because a lot of the people that you donate to have gotten into a place of complacency and expectation of handouts. And the people who really, really need, you may never meet them. The people who really, really need don't even know what GoFundMe is. The people who, now some people in need do know what it is or their family member know what it is. So I ain't saying everybody, it's not a blatant statement. But what I'm saying is a lot of people who who you really want to be a blessing to would never fix their mouth to ask because they don't want nothing from nobody. They want to earn it, but they're not in a position yet to earn it. They, they working, but they behind the eight ball. And so, but the people who done got some welfare, done got some food stamps, a lot of times that gets you complacent and you get comfortable there. I used to be on food stamps and I told my wife when, when early when we were young, we used to be on food stamps. I told her, I said, baby, take us off them food stamps. I know we need it. I know we need it. Take us off them food stamps. God took us from food stamps, from food stamps to where we at today. I'm here to tell you that God will do it, but you got to have a shift. You in this place of lack, you in a place of scarcity, you in a place of misery and you want everybody to be miserable with you. Ugh. Why you charge? If you really serve God, you'll do it for free. For, for where? Where? The Bible say don't muzzle the mouth of the ox that plow the field. The Bible telling you, let this ox that's an animal that's working for you eat as much as it want to eat because it's plowing your field that's going to reap your harvest. The Bible say a workman is worth his wages and double if he faithful. 
See, you got to understand that God is not in the business of broke and lack. That when you work for God, it's going to be different than you working for man. See, you working for man and man give you a salary. Man give you a salary and man give you an hour. This is what you can make an hour, $17 an hour. God say, ain't no cap on what you can make an hour. When I used to work for man, man paid me $8.50 an hour. He bumped me up to $9.50 an hour. And then they bumped me up $10 an hour right before I retired from working for man. I'm not even going to tell you what God paid me per hour. I'm not even going to tell you. That's be later for a special group for people that they on that mindset. They on that level. And they done made that investment because they want to go to that next level. I can't. You can't share everything with free. Because with free, you got scarcity mindset. You got lack mindset. You got Jezebel mindset. You got Judas mindset. You got all kind of mindsets at free. Now, I can do stuff for free now. But it's free between you and, and that product. It ain't free with you and everybody else. It's just you signing up for a free product and that's you. So whatever you think and wherever your mind at, that's between you and God. But I ain't gonna have you in no group. I ain't gonna have you on no call. And when we do these calls, cause it's $25. So the devil will pay $25 to get on there to sow discord. The devil will, look, you're gonna get hung up on. Come out in the way sideways. Come out negative. Negative Nancy. I'm hanging up on you. I'm hanging up on you. Block. Block. Because one thing I done. Because see. The reason why I'm so passionate. About what I'm passionate about. Is because I done seen the fruit. See. When you go to the land of milk and honey. You're not finna go back to the town and say. Oh yeah. Guys. um, You know there's a land with milk and honey. Up there. When you go back to the town. You got a trumpet. Everybody. Everybody. It's a land of milk and honey. Hey, it's milk. You're going to be passionate about what you pass. So when you hear me get passionate, understand it's because I know. I know why we suffering and how we suffering. And I see that I was broke, busted, and disgusted. I was a womanizer. I was a dog. I was a criminal. I was a thief. I was a liar. I was scarcity minded. And I'm here today in a totally different place. And so I'm trying to set the captives free. You got to get beyond thinking everything a scam. Thinking everybody pandering. Thinking everybody just saying something. Because they want to get clout. No, it's people on here. It's people in the world that's working from a genuine place with a genuine heart. And yes, we get paid. Yes, we make great money. But that does not mean that we're not pure hearted. And that we're not passionate about what we do. And what you understand, what you got to understand is the blessings you see is the favor of God for being pure hearted servants. God not going to have you toiling and serving in his fields and not reward you richly. That's what you got to understand. It go hand in hand. Being a pure servant don't equate the broke. But hey, I got to go doing something for my sons. God bless you. And I don't want to hear nobody mind. Oh, you good for your son? God bless you.